there, it's Budget with Mama Bear. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Today is Sweet Sunday Savings. Welcome everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Um, today is a fun day to save and it's sweet to save money. So <laughs> all of our savings challenges are candy themed on this, this month uh, for savings. We will probably be carrying this over into August as well until we finish all these up. Definitely wanna finish that box up. But before we get started, there's a couple things I kind of wanted to go over with y'all. First thing is I had to show you this. <laughs> I ordered stickers, you know me and my stickers, from a new company and I had to show you these. So this company is called Pip Sticks and I saw them on Instagram and I was like, ooh, this book looks fun. So I thought, well, I'm gonna give it a try. I am so impressed with their stickers in here. You're not even going to want to, like, if you like 80s and you like stickers and quality stickers, this is a good book to get for your planners because these are for planning, not just for fun stickers. So let me just give you a quick little flip through on these. So there's letters, arrows, days of the week. Look at all those vacation little um, little stickers to use for vacation, payday stickers, out of the office, little icons, uh, all these little words and phrases that you can put into your calendar. Look at that little baby calendars to track. You can track things on these. I'm feeling star rating. Drink your water. You can track your water. Look at these, and they're all 80s themes. And then these are the fun ones. Who had a Swatch Watch? It has digital, so I'm thinking it's not truly a Swatch Watch, but I had a Swatch Watch. <laughs> I didn't have one of these where you push the buttons. Oh, I did do this right here. Look at that, leg warmers with your roller skates. <laughs> oh my goodness, I absolutely, look. And then there's these border ones. So these are stickers for your planners. And that is what I really enjoyed about that. Look, shiny ones. I love all the roller skates. I was huge into roller skating back in the day. <laughs> so then I ordered another set and look at the packaging. Today just got sparklier. <laughs> I loved that. I'm like, how do I frame that? That's a really cool thing to say. So I hope your day is sparkly today. And then there's this little, like, this reminds me of like, when I probably won't do anything with this, but this is like a little book um, that you can color in. And it's, yeah, there's like directions on how to make a little sticker box. So cute. And then inside, this was the mall kit. And what 80s kid didn't spend most of their time at the mall, right? <laughs> So I had to get that and I just wanted to see what these look like but look at that packaging so fun and sparkly okay <laughs> so technically this wasn't 80s because we didn't have flip phones in the 80s they were like a big giant solid piece <laughs> but look at how cute it's a postcard <laughs> see you later <laughs> oh ooh, these are cool look pizza Yes, all the 80s fun things. Oh my gosh. <gasps> yes, I loved these machines when I was a kid. <laughs> Take out. Oh yeah, this is good for now. Cinnabon. <laughs> oh, look at that. These are mall picks, like going to the mall. And the guys are always like, hurry up. <laughs> That's why we didn't take them. So fun. All right, so I'll put their link down below. Um, I thought this was a really good sticker book. Definitely worth what I paid for them. So anyway, I wanted to show you that because I hope your life gets sparkly <laughs> or sparklier. All right, let's see how much we're saving today. I think I have a lot of ones. I'm like, why is this stack so wide? Oh, I need my sort quick today. Of course, it's nowhere near. Oh, there it is. 
I'll tell you why. So I've been talking about, do you still see my nails? Yes, I finally got them done by someone who knows what they're doing and they turned out so cute. And I got the double hearts. <laughs> I did kind of a, a plain kind of, there is some glitter on here, but I just wanted like a real basic, basic with a little sparkle and had to get the double hearts, right? Okay. Anywho, went to the bank. Tens, if y'all do budgeting, cash budgeting, you know that the tens have been looking really raggedy lately. I got a huge stack and I've separated them, but of brand new $10 bills. So that's why I needed my sort cook because getting brand new 10 bills apart is hard. So yeah, they're finally replacing the tens. <laughs> Those have been so bad. One, okay, 10, 20, 30, 40, 5, 55, 65, 75, 85, 95, 100, 5, 10, 15, 25, 26, 7, 8, 9, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. Thought I had 150, but we'll see what happened. Maybe one of these tens got stuck. Oh, maybe. Oh, well, we'll just work with what we have. I think it's 150. I counted wrong. You guys probably saw. You're so good at that. <laughs> I do it too when I watch people's videos. I'm like, no. Um, those of you who saw Friday's video and commented, thank you so much for your sweet comments. I'm glad that helped you and I'm glad you're working on your homework. Um, one thing I just want to make sure that everybody remembers is that your budget, sorry, my light is being funky. Your budget is all about you and what you can do. Okay. I had to fix my light. <laughs> what was I saying? Your budget is about you and your finances and your amounts. So I, I'm glad a lot of you got that out of it. It's take the, take the tools and do what you can. So we are going to put a pause on Focus Fridays for the month of August. We will talk about budgeting a little bit on Fridays. Um, and I will maybe at, check in with you to see how you're doing on your budgets and things like that. But the homework, we're going to take a pause. We're going to just do the homework. Like this thing is ongoing. You can continue to do it. So I feel like I've talked a lot. <laughs> we want to save some money with candy. <laughs> so I think I want to do my box first. And then we'll do our dailies. Don't let me forget to do the dailies. Okay. <laughs> I want to get into the candy box though. All right. There we go. There it is. This whole like setup um, is a digital download and what you do with it is up to you. But this is from Income Babes Budgets. Okay. Let me get my cards. And I have this set up. I did it on purpose. Okay. So one thing we're doing, let me set this over here, is we are putting the jaw breakers, which are like little extras that are really break your jaw, because <laughs> they're a lot of money, over here. Sugar Rush, over here. If we have a low number, then we will pull from one of these. Maybe we'll try a jaw breaker today. We'll see, right? Then you have these cards that are just the regular ones and the envelopes. And I like to shuffle the best I can. <laughs> I'm not good at it. Oh, come on. Here we go. It is hot up here in the loft. Can I just tell you how excited I am for my studio when it is done? Like, I'm getting tired of my lighting in here. I'm getting tired of it being hot. <laughs> oh, it's going to be so nice. All right. So let's go ahead and pull a card and we got a donut. Donut rush me. All right, let's find the donut. So what you do is you go through and you find which card the donut is on and you hope that it's not a big number. <laughs> I mean, we're gonna have to get to the big numbers eventually. <gasps> There's no donut, where's the donut? Did I miss it? Y'all look for the donut. There it is. I missed this page. That's what it was. Okay. So what it is, it's $8. So you go, I'm going to go to envelope number eight. There we go. I'm going to get my $8 so I don't forget. 
And we're gonna pick a jawbreaker. <gasps> Add $10 to your last card. Woo, see, that's what I mean. They're jawbreakers, they break your jaw. <laughs> there you go. So now we're getting $18 in the number eight envelope. <laughs> Whew, that was a good one. But you know what, that makes it fun when you go to take this money out, you really don't know how much you have in here. I love that, especially since it's gonna be more money, right? Of course. Okay, so that is ready. And we need to mark off, let's get bright pink today. There we go. And I'm gonna do another one. Let's hope. Over the rainbow. Okay, let's see where over the rainbow is. Oh, it's on this page. Ooh, uh, sorry, that was loud. Oh, good Lord. 26. <laughs> oh, 26. Okay, we're not picking an extra card. We are going to get 26, though. 26. All right. Ooh, that was a good one. Thank goodness that one's done. All right, $26. And yeah, I know I didn't put my pen. That's okay. And we need to mark this off. Well, this card's almost done. This was a big card. The last one we have is a $20 gummy bear. Those gummy bears are getting pricey. All right, we're gonna go ahead and stop in our candy box. You know what? We haven't done this in a while. Let's do the here's the scoop. Why don't we do that? So these are just some extra savings that you get with this. And I'll just do a dollar, how's that? There we go. Cause that'll be fun too, to have that extra money. Pop that in here. There we go. All right, you're good. Let me clean this up and then we'll get our other binder out. Okay, so um, we have our other binder full of candy savings. And I did wanna tell you all that um, at towards the end of this video, I do have some pictures to share with you. I figured those of you who wanna stay and see those will stay and those of you who don't can leave. <laughs> but I do have some fun pictures I wanted to show share with you towards the end of the video. So um, stay tuned for that. All right, the first one we're gonna do is the candy roll. And I'm doing it as a roll and save. This is in my shop. And let's see, I think I'm gonna switch over to using this for this because it's hard to see it. And let's get out. Did you see I have to keep the game day ring in here? Those kitties are not going to take my ring this time. <laughs> All right, let's roll. Uh, I, I guess I pulled a 12-sided a dice out. So, yes, we got to do 11 here. <laughs> Goodness. That's okay. And we'll make you $11. I should have made the gummy bear 11 because he's expensive. All right, $11 going in. Okay, this next one is so cute. I don't know why I keep moving my binder. Sorry about that. This one is from 307 Design Studio. She is the sister-in-law of Marlene at Snow Gardener 307, and she designs little Georgette. So we're making her pig, piggy, uh, piggy gumballs. <laughs> And these are $3, so I think today we're gonna put in, you know what, there's a lot of gumballs, so we're gonna put in three of them. Three, yes, three of them. Okay. So let's pop them in here. Because I picked three of the same color, we're just gonna randomly put them on here. I know, I was putting them in order, and then I'm like, no, okay. So we need $9, but I think I have a one in here. So let me see. Yes, I do. Ooh, it's a nice one too. It's crispy. Okay, so gumballs are done. And this 
cute challenge is from Cupcakes Creations. I realized I wasn't putting her Etsy shop because she doesn't have a YouTube channel down in my description box because someone was looking for it. I do now have it down there. So if you're looking for these and I did go to her Etsy shop, she still sells these sticker challenges. Okay, so we're going to pick one off the top and it's the orange candy. So let's get the next orange, which is an orange C. So we've got to find it's on the curve. There we go. And on here, we said orange is $5. All right, let's go again. A red, okay, so the next red. Oh, we haven't done a red. And we haven't done a green yet, huh? Okay, so now we got our first little red there. And red is a dollar. Okay. And let's do one more. This is fun. Oh, two reds, okay. That's okay, because they're just a dollar. <laughs> so these are two red A's. The reason why I'm saying the letter is because it tells you on the map where you're supposed to stick them. And when you're done, you can keep this and keep playing it over and over and over and over again. There's a red A, I'm gonna put it here. Okay, oops, I turned it the wrong way, but that's okay. So that is $2, perfect. All right, so in total, $8 is going into the candy land. Sticker challenge. Here we go. And we'll put these on the bottom. And tuck them, I tuck them in here. All right, what's next? Okay, I wanna finish these up. Okay, we're gonna finish up the fives because fives takes a lot. So we're gonna do $15 into this one today. Five, 10, 15. And this cute little pink challenge is from Budgets and Chaos. So we're gonna mark the last $5 increments. The rest of them are twos, threes, and ones. So we should be able to do that. This is just so cute. It says, you're so sweet. Why, thank you. <laughs> All right. Lollyopoly Savings is next, and I do need to turn that. And I got it out for the first time. Hey, what do you think? All right, so there's a lot of X's on here, and I think we ended up here last time. That sounds about right. Yep, okay. So we're gonna start here. We're gonna roll a smaller sided dice. Here, we'll use this one. Okay, here we go. Five. One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> it's a free space and it's a Jeep, yay. Okay, so, so basically you roll the dice and you save that amount. $4, let's see if we have a one. I have a ton of fives over there. <laughs> yes, we do. Okay, let's keep going. Five again. One, two, three, four, five. If you notice, I don't count the ones I've already marked. This is Sweetheart Road and it's $6. Okay, and I'm gonna roll another one. This is fun, I, I just love this game because I loved playing Monopoly. All right, one, sinking funds, uh-oh, pay $5. <laughs> Yep, those sinking funds. I just cleared out the mama bear envelope doing my nails. <laughs> Gotta fill that back up. Okay, shall we do another one? Mm. No, I don't think we should. Eh, let's try it. Why not? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, $10. See, what, the reason why I was hesitating because we were heading into like Beverly Hills right here. <laughs> All right, $10 going in. So in total today, Lollyopoly got a lot of money. And this challenge, by the way, is from My Girl Beauty on Etsy, but on YouTube, it's My Girl Budgeting. Five, 10, 15, 25, $26. Yeah, I was having fun with this game. Okay, the next one is Cotton Candy Cash Savings Challenge from Two Sister Bees. And I want to use a different color. Let's see. 
Ooh, why don't we do like a light purple? Oh, we already did a light purple. Light. Now, who wants to eat green cotton candy? <laughs> that probably wouldn't be good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's just use this. I don't know why I'm being so picky. Okay, <laughs> so $2. Um, these are five or $5, and these are a dollar. Okay, I just did my thoughts in my head. So we're gonna do two fives down here, and we're gonna do three of the $2 ones up here, which would be $6, okay? So that's where I'm getting all this money for. So let's quickly color these cute floss in. Okay, there you go. I intentionally do them swirly because then it really looks like cotton candy, right? All right. That's going to be really cute when it's done. <laughs> All right. On the last page, I usually save it for extras, but we're going to fill in these two and do $4. I have a dollar in here. <laughs> okay. So we'll put a five in. And we'll color these two in, because I want to make sure this one's getting some love. So a lot of times we run out of money and then we don't finish it. <laughs> so there's two of those. And this challenge was from Janelle Ray Budgets. Mr. Willy Wonka, the king of candy. That was my favorite book in third grade. And it is my favorite version of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is the one with him. Just some trivia for you. All right, we're back in the front. I want to roll some more on this. So let's roll our regular sided die. And we got a three. Okay, let's roll another one. A five. Okay, we'll do the $5 gummy bear. And we only have one more. Let's do it. One. Well, that worked out perfect. So that is $9. And guess what, y'all? We finished. Woo woo. Last two fives. All right. So, based on us doing it as a roll and save, let's see how much this ended up bringing us 10, 25, 30, 5, 45, 46, 7, 8, 9. $49. Let me count that again. No way is it not 50. 10, 25, 35, 45, 46, 7, 8, 9. Yep, 49. I know I'm very tempted because I like whole numbers. <laughs> but I'm not going to do it. Oh, let's see. I know we're going to ring the bell. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'm all out of the big paper clips and you're killing me, Smalls. I need to order some more of them. There we are. Okay, I, I didn't think we were gonna finish one today. <laughs> That's going in. End of the week, we get to use, open that. All right, so let's get our ding, ding, ding envelope and put a dollar in. And I will fill the tracker later. I'm kind of behind on my trackers on here, but this challenge is from Donna Power by Creativity. You can get it on her .com site and you get it for free. All right. So let's get our gumballs out. See how many $3 we can do. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we have two. So we'll use this for something else. I know, the Willy Wonka. So we can do two more gumballs. So we'll do the light pink this time. All right. And wow, having these nails makes it so much easier. Okay. All right, there we go. Cute. Putting six in here. Goodbye, Miss Georgette. And let's go back and add another $2 to the Willy Wonka. And we'll put that in here. That's why this is great to have in the back. <laughs> All right, so that is done. We're not done for the day though, so stay tuned. 
we need to do our dollar a day and get caught up on, see I, if I've been spending. <laughs> All right, let me get my stickers ready. Okay, you can tell by my hand, we're pretty equal on our spending and no spending for the last four days. All right, so Wednesday was a spend day. Thursday was a no spend. Friday, oh no, Friday was a no spend, sorry. And then I am filming today on Saturday and I did spend money for these nails. <laughs> Plus I have to do a couple other things. So I know I'm spending money today. Sunday we put in over here. All right, so let me see how many hearts we have. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. My goal was 15 no spends. If I can do two more days in the next four days of no spends, I will meet my goal. You think I can do it? Ah. That's why I wanted to count that because it'll motivate me. All right, let's put, oh, we're behind. I haven't been doing this. We owe it one, two, three, and four dollars for the dollar a day. And this challenge is from Donna Powered by Creativity. Oh, perfect. I pulled four dollars out. All right. There we go. So we're up to $28 in here. Very nice. Okay. Remember, today is Sunday when you're watching this. So if you're doing the hop, the hop is happening today. Let me remind you who's going today. Um, let's see, where are we at? Today is Frugality is Life, and then Tuesday is Budget and Chaos. And I know on Sunday, Donna is getting out the new calendar for August. So make sure you look for that if you're following along with us and check out all those videos. If you miss Thursdays like me, I have to go back and watch it. Um, Mandy's budgeting journey went on Thursday. Okay. There was something else I was going to share with you and some pictures, right? <laughs> okay. So the pictures, sorry, I need a couple, I need a little cup of coffee. I got up really early this morning to go get my nails done because on the weekend I'm a caregiver. So she did it before mom woke up, which was really sweet of her because she's new. She doesn't even know me. So, didn't get my coffee in because I was like running behind. So, I'm having that right now. <laughs> Anywho, you don't care about that. I went outside to take the dog out and I looked across our field. And it's that time of the year where we'll see hot air balloons occasionally um, in our area because they're prepping for, there's a big hot air balloon fest here. Um, they do it down in Boise. And um, a lot of them start doing their test flights and stuff. So usually I catch one every year and I caught it this morning in a different spot than I normally see. So I'll show you the far away version because when you're taking pictures with your camera of things that are in the sky with your phone, they don't come out that great. So that's what I got. But then I zoomed in on it so you can see the actual um, hot air balloon. And they're so cool. Like, I don't know if I have it in me to get in one because I'm deathly afraid of heights. <laughs> but a part of me on my danger side, it's like, I like to be scared. <laughs> so I might do it just for that reason, but I'll probably freak out. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments, would you ever go on a hot air balloon if you had the opportunity? I don't know. I don't know. There was a time where I'd been like, heck yeah, I'm in it. <laughs> I don't know about now though. Okay. The other thing I wanted to, um, give you a little sneak peek on is I've been talking about my studio and my wonderful hubby who is very paint like he's controlling when it comes to painting which I don't mind because then it gets done um he likes to do all the painting if I'm going to paint a room <laughs> and I'm like okay <laughs> darn I don't have to do it um he went ahead and did all the walls and so I have a few pictures I can show you there and what do y'all think of my accent wall? You knew I had to pick pink. <laughs> you knew that. So we've got the paint in. Now, as you see the thing hanging in the center, that is coming down. That's that weird light I was talking about last time. Someone in my comments got the name that I was afraid to say because of YouTube. <laughs> what we call them. And it was so funny. I was like, yep, that's what we call it. <laughs> so that is going to come down. 
I did get my fandelier in, so that will go up. And then the rest of it will kind of slowly be put in. I have pieces of furniture that I have I have to put together, but the big piece, my filming desk and my desk, um, I'm creating something out of my head and watching YouTube videos on how to make your own desk from you, Ikea. Well, we don't have an Ikea in Idaho. So you have to order it from Utah and then they'll ship it to you. But shipping will take like a couple months because it's when they probably could drive down here. So I don't get it till mid-August. So we have to wait on that. So this is going to be, like I said, it's going to be a process, but I'll kind of give you little sneak peeks as I put things together for my new studio. And like I said, I cannot wait to be in there and have better lighting and just have a whole better setup and be able to shut the door. <laughs> that, my friends, is so worth it. Um, and then lastly, I wanted to highlight my friend Donna Powered by Creativity. She just came out with the product. <laughs> She had this checkbook, kind of a challenge. It was like 52 weeks and you write a check to yourself and you basically put it in your savings. You don't take the money out. You just transfer it right over. And I was like, and you write yourself like a little check, like your, your, like your register, check register. And I love that idea because you know me, I'm all about nostalgia. I am. Here, I'll give you something to look at here. And I love that stuff. It just, you know, when it reminds you of happy times in your life, why not think about it, right? Why not surround yourself with it? So one day I was thinking when I was watching her do it, and I'm like, hey, because she's better at making things. I'm like, can you make like the Christmas club? And she's all, well, how would you want it? I'm like, I don't know. And bless her heart. I think other people were requesting that too. She thought on it and she is so creative. Like that's why she has that in her name, y'all. She came up with a vintage Christmas club savings and it is so cute. I'm emphasizing, can you tell? It is so fun, so cute. You know I'm doing it. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna wait to the beginning of the year because you save for 50 weeks. I'm starting it on Christmas day, Wednesday. My, my Wednesdays are Christmas days, okay? So you will see it with me on there. But if you want to go take a look at it and pick one up for yourself, it's a digital download, which I love because I can reprint it as many times as I want. Head on over to Donna's.com. Check it out. If you want to see a video on it, on Saturday she put out a video. It's her um, savings challenge, not her cash condensing, where she highlights it and she goes over all of it and you get to see all the parts. And if you love nostalgia like I do, you are going to want to snag this up. She is amazing. I just love it. And I love that she can create what I wish I could. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I will be just pulling that out on Wednesday's Savings Challenge Day. And I just wanted to highlight her. Um, so her link is always down in my description box and you can click on it there. Okay. Whew, that was a lot of chatting, but that was fun. Okay. What else do I want to share with you? This week is the last week of July. I will be finishing up savings challenges. We will be kind of adding things up. I will do videos probably for Friday that will emphasize what August is going to be. And we will get our pink envelope out and add that up. We'll put it into our sinking funds and our debt. And it is going to be so much fun. So make sure you check back this week. Tomorrow we will have Mama's Minis, so make sure you come back. And if you are still here, you give me a little heart to go with my finger here. <laughs> you can even give me a double love you heart. All right, y'all. I hope you have a blessed day. And as always, I double love you.